Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swish. I'm doing a weekly recap here today. It's uh, almost three o'clock on Friday, and I thought I'd review the trades for the week. So it's it's been a good last two weeks for day trading my system, and it is earnings season. There's lots and lots of things to do, despite the bullishness in the market, which has been extremely bullish in the, in the last two weeks. Uh, the shorts have worked. And that's what I've done. So let's take a look at this week. Monday was the TPX. Did the move in the trade on Monday. Rated the gap. It was a golden gap for my 26-point rating system. It rated as a short. It worked. High of the day was 47.25. Low was 42.51. I obviously did not hold it down to that low. But I did have a nice move in it. I had a nice move in it. Good profit. Good way to start the week. Tuesday was not as good. It was UA. Pain in the butt, did not work, and failed. Here we go. Stock gap down, closed the night before up here, 2509. Remember, this is Tuesday, so this is Monday night into Tuesday morning, a gap down, and I shorted it, and it was a bust. So this did not work. On the live day followed through though as a continuation gap broke the low fell got to $18 was one of the targets I had this day it just didn't get there the way that it opened and bounced it just never broke and this was a loser so sometimes you will have trades that do not work and UA was a bust on Tuesday PBY was the biggest mover of the entire week it was a super swoosh open and literally never looked back had multiple entries in this, really a kamikaze even dropped, I think, $2 from where I had called the kamikaze trade. It was nuts. High of the day was 1508, low was 1241. I never thought it would get to that number. But at one point during the morning, I said, this is going to just keep selling off forever. And that's literally what it did. And it's not even going anywhere the last two days. Anyways, there it is. Boom. Okay. So this, I predicted, would work as a short. It did. Rated the golden gap, got up in the morning, reviewed the gap. It rated well. We did it. I said that day we're not watching anything else. And we didn't. Thursday was Cress. Again, another winner. Worked as a short. Got up in the morning, rated the gap. This was an earnings gap. And it, it, it was hovering in this area here in the morning when I rated it. Stock closed the night before up here at 63.96. Open in the morning at 56.64. Look at that. Massive gap down here. And it was a short. Did it. Shorted it. This went to a big number as well. Nice trade, okay? That worked as two. Winner on Thursday, and Friday was a winner as well. Oh, look at this. I'm long ago out of this here, but this is looks like this is breaking the low. Wow, I haven't looked at this since this morning. Let me look. Huge volume in this. Rated this gap this morning, rated per my system, and yep, it just broke the low. So I got out of this if I had held this into the afternoon, which I don't like to do, but look, it broke the low, 1896, wow. So again, this gap down, I rated the gap, it rated as a short, it worked. So Monday was a winning day, Tuesday was a loss, Wednesday was uh, a winning, Thursday winning, Friday winning, the system works. So if you were in the room all this week and did uh, the day trades that I called and did, you're up. It was a good week for the room last week was too. Just doing the weekly recap for this week here, and I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing uh, for the rest of the year. This has been a good start to the year for my system and for shorts in 2017, despite the bullishness in the market, like I said. So it's very interesting. Stuff, when it wants to sell off, will do it. It doesn't matter what the market's doing. You don't need the market for my system to work, and I think that's a nice thing. I do prefer to do the short moves, but some of these have had huge, huge moves on the day, even past the point where I get out of them, even in the late morning. So I just like to do the quick move. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. The Golden Gap class is February 11th and 12th. This is a weekly recap for what was the last week of January, first week of February. <laughs> email me at melissa at the stockswish.com for more information. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.